We begin this half hour with America's all-volunteer military. It served the nation for more than five decades, but now recruiting is a growing problem, not because of a lack of interest, but because too many potential recruits fall short of current military standards. But some say it's the standards that actually change. The respondents to uh that relates to uh, uh military recruitment slow um military is facing a growing problem relating to recruitment uh one out of four um have, uh, relating to physical and mental uh backgrounds um, and also, um, uh, too many potential recruits can't meet the military standards. So, one out of four, one out of four out of that report said because of uh, physical and mental, also other background issues, also academical issues as, as, as far as passing it, and, um, and, and different other uh, requirements as well. Um, that was a um, CBS report. And the volunteer shortage, because people, you know, is decreasing upper people up, up, upper age and stuff. So younger generation, man, they have a more difficult time to pretty much meeting the standard requirements, man. It's causing the military voluntarily shortage, man. All right, we're gonna get that related to that 50 year anniversary. Let me see, U.S. Here we go. June 30th, 1970. Uh, last man in, uh, inducted into the U.S. Army on June 30th, 1973, during the last draft conducted. More information about the in, uh, introduction statistics call selective service. Okay. So 
where the draft ends. Here we go. Military draft ends January 27, 1973. That's the 50 year anniversary. 1973. Relating to the timeline of the, the uh, conscription. Conscription relates to the draft. Let's get some scriptures. Second Ezra's real quick. Beginners of sorrows and great mourning. Beginners of famine and great death. Beginners of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. Beginners of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? So sorrow, mourning, famine, beginning of wars, hearing wars and rumors of wars. Jump down to uh, 32, 33. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. So there's significant others they're going to what? Related to war, man. They're going to mourn because of war, man. Many going to DIE, both men and women, man. The war shall the bridegrooms be destroyed. So, D.I.E. because of war, and their husbands shall perish of famine. So, either of war or, or famine. Man. Let's go to uh, GNT version of um, Second Entry 16. No. Now the GNT, we'll get the GNT version. Troubles will come and many people will go. Famine will come and many will die. War will come, so it's released to war. And the world powers will tremble. Disaster will come and everyone will be terrified. What will the people do in these? Disasters, which are evils, that's going to come. Related like to famine, death, mourning, famine, war, all these things. Famine, epidemics, troubles, and suffering are sent to punish and correct the people. It relates to the scourges, which is a tool implement, to implement for punishment. But in spite of all these things, they will not turn away from their sins. They soon forget their punishment. So they're not going to be take be mindful of the things that's really going on. Man. The time is coming when food will be so cheap that people will think a time of, of peace and plenty. So when they say peace and safety, the sudden destruction comes. Unexpected, sudden, unexpected destruction. Um, that, that form of optic of illusion of peace and safety, these evils are growing right behind it. Right? But disaster will spring up everywhere suddenly, unexpectedly. Wars, famine, and great confusion. Many people on the earth will starve to death, and those that will escape starvation will be will be K I L L N D in war. So that means it's going to be war, man. War or famine, man. That go, and that war goes to the sword as well, man. Either by the sword or by famine. Um, the courts will be thrown out like garbage, dung. There will be no one left to comfort the living, and the earth will be deserted. In its cities demolished. Go to uh, Isaiah 24, 10, and 12, talking about the cities be left, the cities in the gate in desolation, man. So that the rain to the state of condition that society is going to be, man, in that time. Man. That was GNT 16. I'm going to go to, uh, let me go to Isaiah real quick. Men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty men in war. So mighty men, men of valor, of valor, of valor, men of valor, will fall by the sword, man, which means war, mighty men. And her gates, which is a city, shall lament and mourn, and she shall be being desolate. 
shall sit upon the ground. There's a stating condition related to that city. It's going to happen. So that's like that woman that's in travail, man. It's in trouble, man. You know what I mean? Mourning, weeping, naked, exposed, man. Let me get, uh, let me get it from the GNT real quick. The men of the city, yes, even the strongest men, will be K-I-L-L-D in war. So that goes to the military, the might, the men of valor. They're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be deceased from war. Man. Um, the city gates will mourn and cry, and the city itself will be like a woman, man, a woman that's gonna be in, in, in a, a position, be in trouble, man. You know what I mean? And they, because of the state and condition, man. Read it again. The city, the city gates will mourn and, and cry, and the city itself will be like a woman sitting on the ground, stripped naked, stripped naked in desolation. Man. Go to um, GNT. Let's go to um, Joel real quick. KJV three and nine. Proclaim ye, proclaim goes to announcement, and ye this among the Gentiles prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into, into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, and let the weak say that I am strong, man. So these 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 agricultural paraphernalia and tools and material are gonna be used as weaponry, man. Be turned to weaponry. Um, assemble yourselves and come, all ye up here, they gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down to the Lord and propose to the, uh, the mighty men. Uh, let the heathen be awakened, come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapah, for he has judged, for there I will sit to judge the heathen round about. Put ye the sickle, for the harvest is ripe, come and get you down, the press is full, the fast overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitude, multitude in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near the valley of decision. So they're going to be judged. All these mighty nations are going to come up the valley to be the uh, decision, which is Yahweh Shapat. For he has judged, and he will judge, man. Order. Uh, we'll go to uh, we'll Joel 3 real quick. GNT. Make this announcement. Announcement goes to proclaim uh, among the nations. Prepare war. Call your warriors, which are the military. Gather all your soldiers and march. So prepare to fight. Hammer the points of of your plows into swords and your pruning knives into spears. Turn these these things into weapons, man. Even the weak must fight. So all going to have to come and fight. Man. All these nations will gather up in the in the land of the Hawashapah. Hurry up and come, all you surrounding nations, and gather in the valley. And sit down, O Lord, your army to attack them, man. The nations must get ready and come to the valley of judgment, which is Yahweh Shapat, for he has judged. There I, the Lord, will sit and judge all the surrounding nations, for they are wicked, these nations, and cut down like the grain at the harvest time, so the harvest is right, man. And crush them like grapes are crushed. And the grapes will be like that, pretty much the blood, man. And a, and a full wine press until the, the wine run, runs over. And that's that blood. That, that grapes, that wine represents the blood. You know what I mean? Because they're ripe for judgment, man. Um, thousands and thousands are in the Valley of Judgment. It is there that the day of the Lord will soon come, man. That's what that goes to, man. This is related to that the video that was a CBS. Um, 
relating to that. Seen that a few days ago anyway, talking about low recruitment, pretty much the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, which is I believe Coast Guard is part of the Department of Transportation. That's the sister of the Navy. So, um, so they, they're, they're down on recruit, they're down as far as recruitment numbers, man, the quotas, man, you know? They're having trouble meeting the quotas as far as getting people into the military. And these younger generations don't want no part of that, man. Especially what's going on overseas, militarily and different things. They want no part of that, man. Especially these generations, man. And so, that being said, this is something short. Give all praise to Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat Shemir, Kakadash. Honors the elders and apostles, men, truth on down, regard, truth and knowledge. And to Wadi Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat put his spirit. Elders and apostles, men, and truth on down, regard, truth and knowledge. So we know this truth and knowledge. Um, and call holy Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat Shemir, Kakadash. This is Ayab, which means wolf. Hope this helps in some way. Give all praise, Yahweh Shemir, Shabbat Shemir, Kakadash. Shalom.